Since he's been here, we've been saying it. Chief Health Editor Dr. Partha Nandy here to answer your health questions and concerns. You can email him, of course, at drnandy at wxyz.com. And, Doc, what are viewers wanting to know today? Hi, Glenda and, uh, and Carolyn. Thank you so much. I appreciate okay. it. There's a, there's a lot that the viewers are asking, but our first question comes from Yatisha Scott. We Skyped her in for today's segment. Hi, Dr. Nandy. This is Yatisha. I have a question about a disease that is affecting some people I know. It's cerebellar ataxia. And what type of supplements and vitamins can they take to combat the disease? That's a great question, Yatisha. You know, we're talking about something pretty complex called cerebellar ataxia. Fancy word, ataxia means when you're having trouble with coordinated movement. Now, folks can have trouble with walking, picking up objects, and even with speaking and swallowing. So Yatisha is asking about cerebellar ataxia, where the cerebellum is affected. Now, the cerebellum, for those of you who don't know, are two ping pong uh, ball-sized parts of your brain near the brain stem. Since the whole family is affected, Yatisha, we're talking probably about a genetic or hereditary condition. So the family has a gene effect or a defect that makes abnormal proteins. The nerve cells then degenerate in the cerebellum and the coordination problems get worse. There's no specific treatment for this, but physical therapy, occupational therapy, and speech therapy can really help. Now, Yatisha, there's not good research showing specific supplements work for this problem, but I'd recommend complex carbohydrates like beans, vegetables, and unsweetened fruit. If eating meat, pick lean meats and drink plenty of water. Also, I would find a specialist, it's important, to, who is experienced in treating cerebral at ataxia. This is an important point. All right, let's take a look now at an email question from another viewer. So Deloitte uh, Brown emailed us this question. He writes, I'm a 60-year-old black man, and I've had high blood pressure since I was 18 years of age. Wow. So I'm taking 120 milligrams of verapamil twice daily and captopril 25 milligrams twice daily. I read something about Salon cinnamon, and it mentioned that it lowers blood pressure. And I was wondering about your thoughts, Dr. Nandy, on the subject. Another great question, Deloitte. First of all, high blood pressure is a huge problem for the U.S., and over a billion people around the world have this condition. As a physician and as a patient with high blood pressure, you know, I really think it's important to control blood pressure. This is critical. Without good control, a person can have heart disease, stroke, kidney damage, vision loss, and sexual difficulty. Now, blood pressure control for African Americans is even more important. A whopping 41% of black Americans have hypertension and have a higher chance of problems with this disease. So we think it's because of genetic and environmental reasons. Now, Deloitte is taking two medicines for this problem. Now, cinnamon, your question, can be helpful for patients who have high blood pressure. Studies have shown that cinnamon can decrease blood pressure and help with blood glucose control. Important point, though, Deloitte, please don't stop your medicines and talk to your doctor about taking cinnamon. There can be some side effects with higher doses of cinnamon, but great question. Remember, if you also have a question or health concern, you can email me at drnandy at wxyz.com or send it to us on Facebook and Twitter. We're everywhere. So have a great and safe Memorial Day weekend, everybody. Thank you.